Right. <clears throat> so, um, this is Capital, Sparks of, Re- of Revolution. Uh, a sandbox, city building, kind of a managing thing. Um, I think you can kind of gather what the setting is here. Uh, it's by Lapovich team and published by 1C Entertainment. They're sponsoring this uh, this live stream, this video. Thanks, guys. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to check it out and see what the demo is all about. So, this is coming out sometime later this year. I don't have a date. Um, I believe there's a dev hanging around in, in chat somewhere. So, um, if you shout things loud enough, they may respond to you. Uh, but uh, we've got a, uh, a society management game. That's, that's the word we're looking for here. Um, we're going to rule the city. Um, people may come and may throw Molotovs at us, you know, that kind of a thing. But, um, you know, we could just shoot them. Um, but uh, there's a demo here on the Steam page, which I have links to in, this, in the YouTube site that you can check out. And uh, we'll check it out. So, and sound like a plan? <clears throat> Let's do it. I should make my face the same. <laughs> that's that's how... Um, Oh yeah, he does have my hat, doesn't he? Yeah, I should, I should. Uh, <laughs> my my thumbnail for the uh, the the vod when it goes to YouTube. Th- that's what it's got to be. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's begin a campaign here. We'll go normal difficulty. Let's not get carried away. All right, a game about crisis and permanent conflict in human society. Run out of vital resources in times of you need them the most. People will protest and riot despite your best efforts to help them. Not everyone will survive. We have to learn how to run a city on limited resources. I do that. Every week. It's okay. Limited resources, that should be my channel name. War has swept the continent like a giant wave, crushing everything in its path. It's time to clear out the debris, to heal the scars of war, to hope for a better tomorrow. All right. So welcome to my uh, welcome to my home. Greetings, Mr. Mayor. Your sign has been a surprise to me, to many except me. Oh, reputation as a leader, as a propo- yeah. This guy's, I like that guy. Back in the day, a town's head inauguration has always been accompanied by a, a ball held by the noble families, where else one can meet an equal without embarrassing themselves. Now, however, the circumstances have changed, and today we do not have the opportunity with rituals such as these. My name is Sir Roderick. No, it's not. It's Sir Stanton. 13th in the Stanton Viscount line. The aristocracy is, is tired of the lawlessness. I hope with all my heart that with your appearance, we are turning over a new leaf in our town's history. The nobility has, since the immemor- since time of memorial, served as the little foundation of this government. Enough, sir. Your honeyed words wouldn't con- would convince anyone. How dare you. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Let's go build a town. So, let's go find our home. Hey, look, there it is. So, we have a fancy-looking palace. It's a little bit rusty. Uh, and we got some broken things around here. There's Frank over there. Uh, and we've got up to the north here, we have a fancy railroad station. Right this way. But everything's broken. Everything's broken. People are sad. Um, that guy's got a fancy hat. Okay. So, let's go and do some uh, demolition. So, we're going to take care of some of these houses. Clean them up, you know. And, uh, and we'll get the resources for it. We've got cash. We've got wheat. We've got bread. We've got beer. Cash. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. And something else. And we'll just sort of follow along the, uh, the tutorial thing here. As uh, as folks take this stuff apart. There we go. Clear mind and a firm hammer. Bam, firm hand are able to solve any problems. Yeah, thanks, thanks, buddy. The ruins idea is a decent one. You surprised me, sir. Stanton? Not every day you can hear a reasonable idea from a nobleman. Okay, okay. So we got we have the noble and the is that the worker class guy, I guess. All right, let's go fix our palace up. One thing we need around here, we need a fancy looking palace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, look, check out that palace though. Yeah, that's why, that's why they're milling around and checking out that palace. It's so great to be here again. I can just remember the glorious speeches ringing throughout these halls, the clinking of the glasses, the flutter of the ball gowns. How long ago has it been? I don't know. I hate to interrupt your daydreaming, but we've got a lot of urgent matters to attend to, sirs. It's time to talk economy. Treasury's empty. Without gold, we can't produce or, pre- or purchase resources. I have a solution. Yeah? Tax codes. It's tax on the bourgeoisie. Okay, let's do it. Fancy. 
Uh, they move the economy forward. We, the, the, the entrepreneurs, with our hard work, are creating the profits that go into developing our society. Our money fills the treasury coffers. Enough, Rockwell. Let's build the, tra the tax department. This guy's I'm getting angry. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. All right. Gold is the element. We need gold. Let's go and uh, get taxes. I want a taxation department. Let's do it. Some of the articles of, are controversial, but we all got to sacrifice something, buddy. Some of us can't wear fancy blue suits, um, and some of us uh, have to pay taxes. All right, let's build that tax department now. Where are we at here? Uh, this way? All right, like right uh, there? I hear... Oh, oh, there's a fight. There's a... Get a hold of yourself, Mildred. Frank. She's 61. He's, a, he's punching an old lady. He's 26 and she's 61. Someone get in there. James. <laughs> so I dabbled just a little bit before the stream. And one of these, a couple of ladies were going at it before. <laughs> oh man, he knocked her out. Oh, she's fine. He's a little wounded, but could be her ego a little bit. Anyway, let's get a road built up to our spa here. There we go. Uh, and the tax department is now working. All right, what the devil? We don't even have work yet, and you already want to tax us? Sorry, Jack. People are beating up old ladies. It's, it's rough out there. What am I going to pay with? Should I cut off my arm? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Calm down there, Don. Taxes are only for the, uh, for the rich folks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mayor, you're here. Sorry for the interruption. My name's Jack Don. My comrades have chosen me to represent the interests of the working people. Oh, you're the working guy. So back like it, says Sir Stanton. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Town is in ruins. We need a lot of wood to rebuild the basic construction. Let's build a lumber yard. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Lumber yard it is. So let's put in a lumber, a wood factory, and I guess we'll put it over here by these trees. That makes sense. Um, I want it to be like, yeah, like that. Go this way. Here we go. Let's put a road in here. Oop, gotta get that wood out of the way. Clean, clean that up. Uh, get get that one cleaned up too. And uh, and get that eyesore out of my. I can see it out my window. Clean all this stuff up. There we go. All right. <laughs> Poor Nana. I need some. Uh, I need some game music here. Let me turn up the. Oh, I don't think I can actually. Um, let me turn up the, the just the environmental sounds here. There we go. All right. Ooh, it's foggy over here. All right. Uh, are we done yet? Oh, what do you want? Road is required. It's got a road. Oh, that that needs to be cleared out. I see, I see, I see. I see. There you go. Okay, that's a start. We won't recognize the town soon enough. Okay. You're very eager to store your business empire to its former glory. He sure is. Conditions are harsh, but idling around would be harsher. At least we're being paid a bit. Okay. Okay, so we need some factories. Factories consume gold, and they make things. Okay, that's what you do. You make you You use gold and make wood. Things are going well. I'm starting to look uh, optimism, eh? Good for you. Um, what should the workers who ate their last piece of bread yesterday do? I was about to discuss the question of food. The town needs grain. For that, we need to get a railroad in here. Okay. Let's go restore the train station. Oh, oops. Up this way. Where are you at? Over here. Okay. Hey, hey ma'am. Can you go uh, <clears throat> work on this thing for me? Who was that? Ruth Jackson. She has zero anger. As it should be. It's free time. Eat the rich, of course. Uh, oh, the, she, she's a noble. So that's a noble. You are a bourgeoisie. Where's my working class? There we go. There's a worker over there. And to establish a constant supply of grain for our town with that. Excellent. The shame your connections were helpless against the enemy army. Then we wouldn't have to be not... Oh, Rockwell. That's... That's rough. Trains are good, but we don't have any coal. 
So they need wood. We run out of it, supplies will stop, and we have to go without food again. Jack, come on, Jack. Okay, so train's gonna come in here, it's gonna give us grain, we'll give it wood. Wood for grain. Got it. So train ship. Ooh, there it is. There it is. I wonder where, where my sounds went. I was dabbling with this a little earlier, and there was sounds. Yeah, let's pop out back back in here. Oh! Sounds. Ah, sounds. Okay. So he just takes wood and just, he just does it. We realize that people aren't horses and can't eat raw grain. Listen, Jack. Did your wife forget how to cook, Don? <laughs> My wife's busy clearing out the ruins. She doesn't have time for cooking. Well, in that case, we need to build a grain processing factory. As well as a diner. A diner? You planning to eat the same table with the commoners? Rich people will acquire a separate cafe. That's right, and I assure you, it'll be much more profitable. Okay, so we need nutrition, health, and entertainment. It needs to be satisfied by visiting public institutions. Okay. Alright, let's build a... Uh, we need a food factory, a... A peg house? Is that what it calls? That's what it called? Peg house? And a bistro. I don't know, I don't know that term. So food factory, we're going to put this one up kind of like, we'll have like a road, but there is one here, isn't there? Yeah. Let's take this guy up around here. Yeah, like right right, right there by the by the tracks, I think it's pretty cool. Get that guy built. Uh, we need a, a peg, peg house. I don't know that term. We need cash for that, so we got to go tear some things up. Because these are giving me, what are we getting? Yeah, gold and, and wood. You're back again? This train's always here. So we got we got plenty of cash now. We got some grain coming in. We don't have a lot of wood, but it's it's, it's slowly coming in. Um, okay. Works from eight to eight. Are you going to work? No. You don't work. We have employees already, but they're not there yet because it's just now done. Such an enormous building. I did not imagine grain processing required so much equipment. Roderick, admit it. You thought croissants grew on trees, didn't you? Rockwell, man, this guy. This guy, how dare you? How dare you, he says. Alright, so we got food now. But we need a place to put it. We need to feed the people. Alright, so let's get a... Um, oh, we gotta get some wood, I guess. Let's clear these things out. What are you guys doing? Besides just hanging out doing nothing. Let's build a peg house. Um, where's the poor people gonna live? I guess they like they like being over here, so we'll put we'll let them bit over here. Right over there, we'll give them a road. Like that, and then we'll get to work on that. Oh, they're just sleeping outside. Oh, I feel I feel it's kind of it's kind of cool looking. What is this? What is this divided by color of your clothes? Yeah, this is the <laughs> the nobility sleeps in this campfire. <laughs> and then, you poor folks. Get over there. That's your campfire. Okay. Uh, enough sleeping. Someone's demolishing houses, though. I'll keep going. No space in the warehouse to obtain no resources. Oh, okay. Well, don't do that, then. Oh, we have too much wood. Well, let's build some more things. Well, give me that bistro. We'll put, like, um, what, fancy town going to be over here and then poor town over there? I think that might be a good idea. I think maybe the point of the game is to not do that kind of stuff, but but we'll see. Okay, let's fast forward here. Let's feed some people. Yeah, the, the peg house is done. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, you're welcome. And where are all the you respectable people supposed to eat? Oh, Sir Stanton. I'm starting to get on Mr. Rockwell's side. Okay, so uh, these earn gold for each visitor they serve. They require food, gold, and alcohol to operate. Alcohol. Do you do, go do you do alcohol? You just make bread. Okay. We'll have, have to figure that out. This guy is almost done. I guess as as we need, that'll get taken care of. What laws? I want to look at... I want to look at... There we go. We can tax them individually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got a stock market? Nice. Alright, you guys wake up. It's six in the morning, what are you doing? 
Town is a place for respectable people. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome, buddy. I'm starting to uh, despise your little red shirt. Costs 80 gold per day, but we gain 30 per visitor. Okay. So, go eat, everybody. Oh, we got people coming in, too. Build them a respectable trough. <laughs> Okay, free time, rest time. Factory produces resources during the working time, and it doesn't in the rest time, is what I read. So, wow, look at all these people. Are you guys, you guys are all moving in here now? Okay. Uh, I need, like, a, um, a warehouse. Can I get one of those? Cabaret, ale house. I guess we need to get one of these. This seems like something that... You think an ale house would be a, a fancy thing or a not fancy thing? It's gonna go here next to, the, next to the old bistro, right there. Cabaret is a bourgeoisie thing, I guess. So we'll stick, stick this right across. Oh, how, about, how about like? Let's put like right there. This is fancy corner. Uh, are you so closed? Why? No, oh, there you go. Now you're now you're working. Okay, cool, cool. We got people going to eat. Ale house is built. What's wrong with you? You don't have a road? Yes, you do. Oh, I did the road on the wrong side. Okay, now you're good. I thought that was... I, I saw this. I don't know why. I thought that little, that little cellar door was a... Hey, they sell out the window. What's wrong with that? There's a door on the other side, though. Can I rotate the camera? No. No. Okay, you're up and running also. Cool looking buildings. Right. Right, people are eating now. Yeah. Production is complete. There we go. What's next? Oh, people are lined. Oh, they're lining up to, <laughs> to go to the cabaret. Before Jack Dawn gets here, we need to discuss something, Mr. Mayor. Now that starvation doesn't threaten us, we can produce extra grain and into alcohol. This is much more profitable than food production. What do you say? Alcohol licenses or monopoly? Tell us, Mr. Rockwell, what's your angle this time? Poor people are quite primitive. Their interests don't venture beyond the pint of beer and a pub brawl. But if they don't have that, they'll get drunk on moonshine and have the brawl in front of your windows. Is that what you want? Of course not. Okay. Okay. Now we have a place to relax. I jumped ahead a bit. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Poor aren't just automatons. We need a place and time for rest. I, yeah. Dignified people will avoid that. Is this the cabaret? Oh, yeah, the cabaret, I guess, should have gone on the poor side of town. It's fine. You know what? We're going to intermingle. And look, they already are. There's, there's Ethel and uh, and George. Look at that. Yeah, it's fine. Build a alcohol factory. Let's get that going. we got to make alcohol. So let's make an alcohol factory. And let's take it over here with the, with the food factory. Like that. Seems a little backwards, but it said it was okay, so we'll leave it like that. There's no hey train noises. They're back. Okay, we gotta serve some clients over here. And I guess we all just sleep outside. When do we get to build houses? That seems like something we should we should have. Oh. Okay. This is nobles and bourgeoisie. This is the workers. So we'll put the workers over here. Let's do like this. Uh, road's three wide. Yeah. Like that. And we'll, get, we'll get another one in here. This accommodates ten. Something like that. That's thirty. How many people do I have? Alcohol distillery. What? The blazes? Rich can't go without getting drunk. Town's full of beggars and you're wasting grain on God knows what, says Jack. Jack, calm down, Jack. All right, so we got to serve them. People were in line before we even we knew what alcohol was, and now they were itching for it. Uh, I'm out of wood. Let's go ahead and make sure we demolish this. We're not gonna get any, any grain here. What are we doing? I run out of wood piles. This guy needs to work harder. Stop being closed.
don't know what Jack's thinking. Okay, there we go. Um, where's, where's my number of people? You, you. There's William. Um, oh, well, there is 126. So we got, okay, I see it. 60. So this only holds 30 people, right? Yeah. So we need six of these things? All right. Okay, one more. Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, okay. Let's go like that. It is a rather, rather reasonable hour for a live stream, isn't it, Burns? Uh, I think what we're doing is waiting for... Oh, because it's closed. Everybody thinks they can just go and take breaks whenever they want. Well, I don't understand. Here comes the train. Let's get this wood pile out of here. Ooh, there's a fight going on. Oh, yeah, she took him out. Who was that? Betty Wood. Oh, don't mess with Betty. She's got a little anger. She's also a little bored, but not anymore. She just beat that guy up. Poor Henry. Oh, he's dead. She killed him. You murdered the guy. What'd you do that for? Man. Betty. We got some sadness. Four people are, um... We got five sad nobles. They'll be alright. Okay, new residents arrive. We must develop the economy to keep up with the, the folks coming in. Okay. Okay, so we've got... This guy is closed still. Here comes the new folks rushing in. 86-year-old Henry Harris. Look at him run. 86. Rush, rushing to work. I like it. I like it. Where are you guys going? Going to the train station. Alright. I need one more of these houses. I gotta get, uh, I guess we have a decent amount of wood. We do have some, some beer. So people should getting, start getting served as soon as this place ever wants to open. Got a house or cabaret. We got both of them. Okay. We have one person starving. That's just because they, um, they don't know where the, where the, uh, where the restaurant is, I guess. Um, let me build a um, a cottage. We could we, we, we could intermingle them, but I don't think they'd like that. So let's go build these guys over here. Or we could go. Um, let's go like let's go like over here. That, put a road over this way. We'll have some more houses going over here. What did you say about that? What did he just say? He said something, but I missed him. Somebody is gravely ill. Okay, we got... Folks in queue there. Why aren't you open? Is it because we don't have enough... We have gold. Is that you sad about something? We'll get to work. There we go. Okay. Not enough grain. Oh, yeah, we're out of grain. Because we didn't put enough wood out. Um, I need to see about uh, about you working. Mr. Mayor, there's some pretty, uh, some pretty lady w waiting at reception. Is her name Betty? Insisting on meeting you. Do you wish to talk to her in private? Sorry, Mr. Mayor. I can't wait for the reception hours. It's an urgent matter. So many places have been built in town already, and the people are still sleeping next to campfires like carav caravaneers? Carriners? This is Abigail Walter, sister of charity, known for her selfless work. Leave them without a roof over the head. No, they have plenty of roofs, Ab. You have not just paying attention. Why don't you look around? Provide them with medicine. Okay, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. Okay, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. The roof's leaking. No, no, I got you a house. Um... Okay. How do I get this thing off? There we go. Uh, I can build a hospital and sign the Medicine Act. I'll do that. Oops. Sorry. Um. Oh, hey. Oh, second shift for workers. We need that. Costs 200 gold, but activates a six-hour second shift for production workers. Loyalty goes down a bit, but, you know, we kind of need it. I'll just do what the game wants me to do for right now, and then we'll, and then we'll pass on. 
Okay, so we've got the Medicine Act. What'd they do for us? Hospitals allow citizens to heal from disease and traumas. Oh, if you get sick, you can go to the hospital. That seems like a reasonable thing. Um, and let's go and build that hospital. There we go. Um, we'll set it. Ooh, it's big. Ooh, it's big and creepy. It's got kind of like that um, old-timey, uh, like insane asylum kind of vibe going with it. Um, it's got to—it's got to be like somewhere off kind of by itself, just because it's creepy. Let's go like—I don't know. Where's it gonna go? I kind of do want it over here though. So something like like a little lonely road that goes back to this place. Hmm. Hmm. Put it down here. There we go. Okay, we'll have some houses, and then we'll have just a, just a road out to that place. There we go. Well, yeah, it will be abandoned and haunted in a few decades. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now we, uh, yeah, still a smidge too limited in our resources be a, to be able to provide housing for every citizen. Ten buildings would be enough to provide acceptable conditions for most citizens, Mr. Mayor. Okay. I guess that's a big part of the game is, is, it did say at the beginning, like, it's a big question. People are going to die, and we have to choose, I guess we have to sort of choose who we keep and who, you know, for the, for the good of the country. It's my honor to meet you, Mr. Mayor, Baron Von Offen. Berg, at your service, excuse me. You're quite all right. I have a hospital for you. Being held in jail is not good for one's health, you know. I assure you, this temporary weakness shall pass as soon as I get to work again. What you plan to do? Same thing I did before, detective work. Ruin and property abound. Perfect breeding ground for bandits and con men. Okay, let's get those villains. Police department? Okay, let's do it. Factories can work during the night. Adopt the second shift act. Okay, good, good. I wanted to do that one. Uh, I need... Oh, I have to wait till uh, some time. Okay. <clears throat> I got plenty of gold. I got a bit of wood. I got no grain. Are you chopping trees down over here? Always closed. Um, let's go and build a police station. Which is going to be under production? Admin. Admin. No? Oh, I have to do a police act first. <laughs> Looks like he'd be trying to be into the Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of a line here at the uh, at the the peg house. All right. We got this place is is busy. Oh, it serves four people. What's this? COVID times. Mm hmm. You got a problem with my town hall? This place is fancy. This is where I live. We've ended alcohol entertainment state. So what? Something what? Not enough alcohol. Oh. Hey, what are you doing over here? Because we're out of grain. I urgently need grain. I'm willing to pay well. I don't have any grain. No. But let's go pick up some more wood. Yeah, take that out. Um, any more uh, things around here we can pick up? Oh, here we go. Here's a house. Take that. That'll give us some wood. We got a lot of money. I got tons of money. We just buy stuff. But after this, we're going to be kind of low on things. I have to kind of take it easy. It's going to be kind of difficult. Oh, check out the lights. Cool. Not enough alcohol. Yeah, we've got 46 de sad and depressed people. Uh, 46 depressed people. 40 sad people. I mean, you got a house. What else do you want? Oh, hey. There's no, no epidemic in the city. There's Ruth Willis. I don't think we saw her before. Uh, let's go get that that law. So we want to do the this one, can I, uh, this one. 
In 18 hours. All right. And we sold some of that. There we go. We got some grain back in here. We need to get more grain. But I'm only going to do that with... If I got, I got to stop building houses. I, I squandered a bunch of it, I think, here on these houses. Not squandered. The people need a place to sleep. Just not every people. Like these guys. They, they look comfy. Yeah. They look fine. They like it. Just put a tent out there for them. Um, has it been 18 hours yet? No. Wait, we want, we want, we want this one. We want both those, I think. In, in an hour 46. Wasn't there one to get the sec- It did tell me to do the second one too, right? Okay. What do we got? So, uh, the- It did tell me to do the second shift, but- I'm at the fighting crime one. I wonder if we should do that. Because I have an 18-hour thing before I can do it. I don't know. I think maybe the second shift is going to be more important right now. Because we have a, this wood issue. Increased productions, profits. Yeah, more profits is what we want. That way our factory can work a little longer. 8 to 18 now. Rather than I think it was... I don't know what it was before. Do I have to mark it? Second shift. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I don't care about you guys working. I do care about you. Second shift. A little cranky. Is that a permanent thing? I hope so. Whatever it is, we need more 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 wood. Uh oh, does it really? Um let me change that. You know one of these days I'll figure out how to stream things. But, uh, not today. It's okay. It's good now. <laughs> Alright. You know, I just have to keep those Twitch folks on their, on their toes. Alright, so we got that going. So that'll help us bring in some wood. Oh, look at the wood. It's, it's flying in here now. Excellent. Excellent. Where's my trains at? More trains. We got too much wood now. Yeah, we got... Uh, I need to build a warehouse. I've been asking for a warehouse for a long time. But I, I can't do a warehouse yet. Here he comes. Okay. Please take my wood. Give me some grain. We need lots of it. So wait. We got 600 wood. How much are you taking? I need one. Uh, I think that was... I guess that was from you. Take some wood, buddy. 30? That's it? You gotta take more than that. Uh, Mortal Mayor was um, was last night. Uh, it was a little crashy though. So, it, but there wasn't. I just saw there was an update that came out, so I'll have to check it out. I may I may pull it up again a little later. Right, so we have tons of wood now. Let's 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 use it. Um, let's go into. I guess we can give him a cottage. It's 150 wood. I got all those made. Those are all done. Yeah, let's give him another cottage. There we go. We'll use some of that, that wood for now. I don't want to go squander it, but you know, I suppose they can have a place to sleep. Okay, there we go. As soon as we can, we'll get that police act. You like my sparkly outfit? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go... I have another... I actually have another webcam. Uh, I was going to buy one. Um, I have one in the other room that when I play D&D &D, my, my, my son's computer, I may just go steal his. Swap them out secretly. So he can be the sparkly one. Actually, it'll be fine. They don't use a, no green screen in there, so, so I'll just steal his. Uh, that's what happens. It's what, whenever, you know, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's daytime, and so when I come out in sunlight, I sparkle a little bit. Okay, let's sign that police act. Criminal code is too lenient. Thieves and bandits should be hanging on a rope. Oh, man. Listen here, buddy. Let's go and build a... We need a station and a department. Solves crimes. This one uh, just increases policemen. Okay. So the department, I think, should be over here next to the tax department. It makes sense. Um, 
Yeah, like right over right over this way. They look the same both sides. Let's do like um, this. Okay, and then we'll have a road that kind of goes this way. And across the street, we'll put the uh, the other place, the station. up that speed. Is there a, can I do numbers? Yeah, numbers. There we go. Not the Imperial Department, but it'll have to do for now. Oh, man. He says he should be selling me some chicken or something. He looks kind of have that Colonel Sanders thing going for him. Alright. Or something about diabetes. Little police station. Working on it. Institutions are for rich people have been allowed visitor settings. Nobles only, bourgeoisie, or only all or both classes. Controls the food and distribution among the nobles and bourgeoisie. Okay, okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Workers like look, the workers love me. I'm the best. Rich folks not don't think that's so great, but if if I learned anything from history, it's pretty important to keep the uh, the, the the worker worker class happy. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Miss Frederica Simmons, Mr. Mayor. Discuss reform with you, aimed at restoring the education system of our town. Yes. Um, yep, she left the state. Okay, okay. Yammer, 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 yammer. Build a school. I got it. I got it. Our group has burst into the cabaret and taken several patrons hostage. The bands are demanding a ransom, killing, threatening to kill the hostages. Um, send the police, pay the ransom. 800 gold? The nobles and bourgeoisie reputation will rise. They like that? But pay the ransom? The hostages might die if we assault the building. They beat up Sir Stephen. I have a case of the vapors. Are we going to perish here? Um, okay. I got 800 bucks. Here you go. Got the ransom. That'll that'll work out. That'll... <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Okay, let's go and put in another cottage here. Across the street. All my out of wood again. Okay. How are we doing here? We've got we've got 109 people. These each hold 10. I'm out of grain again. Man, that train doesn't come fast enough. What am I supposed to do about that? We have the wood. We're just not getting enough grain in here. Can I order a second train? I can upgrade you. Maybe that'll give me more people. Corrupt corruption. Not in my town. All right, so we got an education act to go sign, uh, which we can do here in ten hours. All right. That that thing's working. I think the problem is we we're working. We're making alcohol and and food. And yeah, as soon as it comes in, it's gone. Look at it, disappeared immediately. Um, well, I mean, alcohol is probably the least of our issues. Maybe we should pause the alcohol for a bit. The money is there and no place to spend in this city. Long in the diet. What? Okay, we need... I was going to say it's like a ship, but yeah, we don't have any any uh, grain, so what's the point? So we want to get that... What was it? Education? Okay. First step, progress. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Go here. Miss Simmons, you're a hero. How about a school? Academy. Okay, we'll set the, uh, the smart stuff over this way. Or it could be over here, I guess. Doesn't quite fit in there. We'll set it over here. We'll have like a, those hedges are in there. Fit, they fit kind of nicely. I want to put a road in here. Make sure that fits before we do anything. There we go. Does that, does that work? Okay. 
good. That guy came in. No one's working right now. Um, if I do this, activate eight hour second shift. Oh, okay. So it is a one time thing to just crank out stuff. Might be, might, might need to do that. I'm gonna perform research. I'll oh, personally oversee the most promising projects. Oh, research. Okay. I was wondering about that. Um, research. Oh, nice. Okay. Pharmacies. We've got look at all this stuff. Increased amount of stockpile resources by. Okay, okay. We'll uh, we'll we'll work on that as soon as we get some wood. Oh, I'm at the end of the demo already, but I wasn't done yet. All right. Well, there we go. There is Capital. I want to play more. <laughs> um, Sparks of Revolution. <laughs> that seemed like it. that flew by. Has it been almost an hour already? That was quick. All right. Well, there we go. And look, there's game music. It's back. Uh, well, there's Capital, uh, Sparks of Revolution. It is on the um, the Steam uh, uh, event that's going on right now. See if I can pull, if I can show this. Um, right over here um, by uh, Lapovich and One C Entertainment, who sponsored this. Thanks for uh, for doing that. And uh, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm mostly intrigued because I watched a bit of the this, and there was there was people throwing. Where was it at? Unrest, yeah. We got riots going on, and we've got um, more riots going on. Yeah, about forty-five minutes. Is that how it works? Is it just a timer? I bet it is. There we go. Unrest. We can, you know, um, make it not happen anymore for a moment. People are throwing things. That's the nobility over there. In my house. Sort of has a, um... I don't know. It has... I, I, I'm, uh, I'm eager to keep an eye on that one. So anyway, um, let's, uh... Let's wrap this part up. So that was Capital. Thanks for, uh, for watching for that part. Move on to something else here.